Hi everyone, it's Dee here again with my latest journal. This is an Alice in Wonderland, or rather my take on Alice in Wonderland. I've married um, three different kits together from different designers and it was so much fun to do this. I've crammed it that full that I wasn't able to decorate any of the journal cards really but you'll see as we go along um front cover i've left it more or less as it was i've just added the little that way sticker some um met form roses clock and we turn to the side and there you have the the spine now i need to explain this um the signatures are all individually machine stitched then I've Coptic stitched them together then I've added them into this binding which and sorry and they're held in with these elastics so um if you want to remove the cover for whatever reason of course you can or you can take some things out and put your own things in but I just like the way um, this has turned out, I really do. Special thanks to Cathy Haynes, she sent me loads of this and it's wonderful. Um, and I just wanted to use some of it on this to, to lift the colour on the actual uh, cover itself. So, that's that. That's the other side to that. The back is very plain other than the one met form which says found. So this is the fastening and it's done on an eyelet below the memories met form. Is everybody okay? Can everybody still see everything? I think maybe you can. Is that any better ladies do you think? Let's hope that, that will do. Right so inside cover i've done a little concertina type file which lifts you can see the concertina there and there's the notelet and it's held in place on two heart brads and a bit of waxed cotton and a little book as a just a tiny weight for it on that so that it will go in plain uh, signature cover um, apart from this little bit of lace here I wanted to make this look um, used I didn't want it to look sparkling brand new so um, if there's a, a few little bits in it you know why and I will point them out to you anyway um, just some um, tickets here and one of the little banners we have a couple of Pardon me, we have a couple of little journaling cards. Although these are steampunk, I loved the sayings on them. Opportunities don't happen, you create them. And wherever you see a paper clip, that will indicate that there is something else. And that is being used as a, a journaling card on this one. This is what I mean, look, I've roughed the edges and... Um, I've got different size papers in all that kind of thing. So and obviously the the butterfly. Now these, I've stolen this again. I think this was um, Kathy Haynes. Um, she did these tuxedo tuck spots, and I really liked it. And I asked her, could I do it? And she said, yes, of course I could. So thank you, Kathy. A couple of more little tags there journaling cards sorry and on the other page I've done some stenciling and I've left this I wanted to do a bit more of this but I've only done it a couple of times just to make it look a wee bit worn you will see that there's quite a bit of cotton lace in here as well left these pages mainly I, I didn't do anything with them other than adding just little bits of the the red paint to make it stand out more again on here we've got the little blue lace 
This was just a bit of collaging that I did with sayings and tickets and things. Again, here we've got a tuck spot with a... I like leaving the backs on these quite white in, with some of them um, so that you can draw on them or sketch. Pocket there with nothing in it. Um, and this, the, this doesn't count in the signature count up. These are just little added interest that I put in it. Bit of lace and the teacup one there. This is also a pocket. And we have another Alice journaling card there. Plain page for journaling on. This was snip art. And the way I've done this, I did a red ink sprayed on it. Let that dry and then I've gone all the way over it with a, a gold wax mousse. And I love it. I love the effects on it. I don't even know if it will pick it up. Can you? Maybe. Right, nothing on that page. Obviously, it can be written all over. And on this, I, I've actually stuck this journaling card down. And over the top, I've put the snip art saying, we are all mad here. Obviously, I've, uh, I've inked that with a, re a deep red ink to match this one. A little tuck spot and a little card. Plenty of lines on the back there for small writing as well. Just a couple of stamps on this page. A bit of the cotton lace and one of the, the uh, tags. Would you like a little more tea? On this page, again, left it. I just love the way these are a bit behind because it's made to look like there's lots of pages. And I love the way they're kind of behind the first page. Another one on the steampunk. The chief enemy of creativity is good sense. I added these cards to this and I've just used a paper clip to hold that there. Another pocket and there's another card in there. You used to be much more muchier. You've lost your muchness, Mad Hatter. And just a couple of um, stamps on this and a bit of the cotton lace. That's the end of that first one, the next chapter. Again, we've got a tuck spot and we have the Cheshire Cat. Every adventure requires a first step. I've left this page completely alone. I adore this page. Two different Alice's look and yet they go together. And this is just left in there like that. For drawing, for sketching, I'd just like to leave now some white blank sheets to be used as you wish to use them for your journal. Another tuck spot on another tag. Some more lace as well. And of course the edges are inked. I always forget to say that I've inked the edges. This is one of Kathy's tuxedo... Um, tucks there and again we've got a little teeny teeny little envelope and a journaling card I am going to pick the pace up because otherwise we're going to be here forever so you get the idea of what I do this you know stamping and what have you on it no the the beautiful is always bizarre. Thank God for that. I'm very bizarre. A muchness journal tag. And a larger tag there to go in the belly band. Just a little bit of extra there that you can doodle on. Another tag. And a tuck spot. And some more of the cotton lace. These pages, I just love them. I just love them. I can't bear to cover them up, really. Just a couple of um, the little tickets on there. This was just a tiny bit of collage that I did. Um, and all it is, I've, I've used up what was left over at the end of making my tags and everything. I've just ripped them, egg inked all the edges, added them onto there, and then I did this way and the lace in blue 
another plain one for you. This has just had tickets added to it, which I really like. I just love pages that look like they've got a page on top of a page. Everything you can imagine is real. Curiouser and curiouser. This has literally just got some washi tape on it, it because I don't think it needs anything else. And we have some more of the blue lace. Another one of them fabulous pages. And the thing that I noticed, and it took me a while to notice it, the images are the right way round. The writing is upside down because everything is not always as it seems. Another of the tuxedo with a long journaling card there. More cotton lace and two, an envelope and a journaling card in a tuck spot. This is a double tuck spot. Stamped my little cat on there, added that. And on this we've added tea party pointing to tea time and some of the blue lace. I'm going to really try and speed this up now. Just collaged really. Nothing on that page. This I added on um, just because I thought it, it it went really well and it broke it up a little bit. And again, you've got the two Alice's, um, but they just seem to work so well together. There's a, a secret pocket with another large journaling card in. Sorry for my hands in the way. And there we go. I've used that again as a pocket look. There's two, two in there. Just a little bit of stamping on that and some of the cotton lace. That's not counted in either. And this is how they're held in, but they're very secure. And you can see under that, there's the machine stitching and there's the Coptic stitching. Another one of the tuxies, those with two of these in them. And some of the blue lace and again just a little this was just something left over so I cut it into a tuck spot and I've added that to it there's a card in there and then a page here with more journaling cards in it for you there's so much space in here to write in you know, to add photographs. This was um, snip art. And my friend Jill Humphrey, well, she gives me loads of things, but she'd given me these paints. So I've used that on here. And I like the way it looks aged and worn. I mean, I, I, obviously, I've done some of that myself, but I, I just like the way it's turned out. Another signature now. I've cut this out, fussy cut it, and then I've added this to it. I've added another little bit of leftover card to put the little teeny envelope in. I've got a jar in here and an envelope and the little banner. There's also a secret pocket with a tag in there. Stamped, one of the little tickets and another belly band. And in this belly band, we have one, two, three, four. So I quite like that page. Right, onwards and upwards, one in here, look. Look how it's all, I just love it. Um, a library card and another little journaling card in this tuck spot. Uh, this is just collaged. I cut this out. Um, I feel like it looks really sad, but I like him, so I've put him in here. This is a little bit of collage stuff. Same principle. I don't want to waste anything that I don't have to. On this side, we've got a little secret pocket there. Here we've got the tuck spot and just a, a little notice that I've put on. Would you like some tea? On here, we've got a, um, a tuck spot and a little journaling card. This, although it's glued down, I, I like to make out that they're just stuck in randomly. 
particularly on something that I want to look aged and used. More journaling cards in there. Little envelope. And again, this, um, I have the teapot for this, but I sprayed it and I love this, so I've kept it. And I've put in it, that is what you can get away with. How true is that? And a little metal timekeep there. Another one of the pockets with uh, a long one in. And another belly band, but this time I'm, it's got a doily and a little, I don't know, tuck spot thing with a, another journaling card in. Uh, just something different. I wouldn't normally put a, a doily in like that, but I did on this one. And another bit of lace there and on here. And the only other thing on there is that. Again, plenty of journaling space. This has, um, I've added a proper stamp, a stamp that's actually been used. This was also used. This was from... Italy, I think, or um, I'm not really sure on that, but this was on a parcel that I received. And I added this little note. Yesterday is past, today is a present, tomorrow is a gift. Just a couple of little stickers up there. Tuck spot, envelope, teeny envelope, journaling card. A couple of little stamps on there and the lace, uh, the cotton lace there. And this, again, this was off a different set altogether. Nothing to do with Alice. And I just happened to add this one sheet. And I just thought, it goes so well. I'm putting it in. And I've just put on there wrong way. On here, we've got a secret spot and a, a journaling card. And then something where you can do your sketches or drawings. Another, that's quite a large one. which should actually be in that way and on this just the blue but I nearly forgot you must close your eyes otherwise you won't see anything another couple in there and across there here we've got another belly band a large journaling card and a small envelope a little card in there which can now go that way oops there we go and another tuxedo they're quite tight fitted in those as well another signature look at the Cheshire cat another library card Um, I've put that on it, fussy cut that and these out and I've put them on it just to break the pattern up slightly on that one. Another secret pocket with a, a card in it. This I've done the half um, stash, I don't know what you'd call it, a stash, somewhere to stash your things and it's got an envelope. We also have another secret pocket there. Another one of these beauties. That's got a jar and a tag in it. I'm terrified of pulling everything out. And one in the top there as well. Just take this off here for a second. Another notelet. And then we have stamps on that page. <coughs> Excuse me. I'll just put that back on there, like that. Plain journal page. Um, this I ripped, inked, added the uh, envelope. Oops. And just some little stamps on there. How unexpected. Another one with Alice in it. This was a different one. 
and that's just got the the two of those in it you don't have to keep things away and i put them in i would hope that people would go in and sort it out how they want it a large journaling card with a belly band again i've done the same didn't want to waste anything so it's got used up there two in there one in there oh one come, ah there we go one in there and another blank page for journaling i've used the tickets as a kind of belly band and i've added a journaling card and a little envelope now then we have another spot there with a, a journaling card in it blank page pocket two in there and the lace the cotton lace and then we're at the back that's the back of the signature as you can see they're actually not sewn into it that's just for interest and that's it you've seen all of it i hope you enjoyed this video guys hope it's not too long and i would love it if you could leave me a little message or a like underneath the video thank you for watching everybody and bye for now please stay safe bye